With the Genesis Mini shaping up to look like it's something quality, something like Nintendo has put out with their Mini NES and Mini SNES, uh, this thing's looking great, and everyone's talked about the 30 games that have released so far, that's excellent, but let's talk about controller compatibility. So, stay tuned, guys. Welcome to his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I want to talk a little bit about the Sega Genesis Mini. Uh, more so I want to focus on what controllers are going to be compatible with the system. Um, for the North American release, and I believe the European release, it's just Japan that's getting the six buttons included with the system. Um, we're getting the three buttons. So because the three buttons don't exist, I'm actually excited about this, and I'm happy that we're getting the three buttons. Um, I do enjoy them. Uh, but they have announced, you know, we're getting the console, two wired control pads, the USB power adapter, which is nice. Uh, Sony should have done that. Um, the power cable and the HDMI cable. Um, I'm not going to stick too much on this. I'm sure you guys have seen all this before, but I'll quickly go through. I'm not going to name every game. Uh, but they have named 30 games so far, and the 30 that they have announced makes me want to buy the system. So there's a few missing um, that I'd like to see. Uh, definitely Kid Chameleon was a big one for me. I know people want to see Sonic 3, but I think Michael Jackson helped out with the music, so it might be hard to get the rights to that game. Um, now, as far as the six-button controllers, you can see they've included Street Fighter, um, which is definitely a uh, six-button game. I mean, you can play with a three-button, but it's, it's not as enjoyable. Uh, what's cool is the Mega Man Wily Wars. So those, this was only released on the Sega channel, which was a, a failed attempt uh, way back in the day uh, to North America. But it did come out in Europe, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we are getting Streets of Rage 2, which is nice. Um, so definitely a good lineup of games. But what I wanted to focus on is that they've announced coming August 2019, we are going to get... Um, an exclusive Sega Genesis six button controller from RetroBit, um, obviously uh, with Sega's help. <clears throat> and this is pretty cool because they have released other controller options in the past for the Sega Genesis, uh, quite recently actually. Uh, but it'd be nice to have these authentic uh, controllers for that console. So myself, I'm going to purchase these uh, when they do come out. Obviously I want two of them. But then I'll have the option of having the three button gamepad as well as the six button. So I think this is a great idea. For anyone who's already purchased the RetroBit slash Sega controllers, such as the eight button arcade pad with USB. So this is the one that gives you like a left and right uh, bumper and also a mode button. But what's great about these is they have been announced to work with the Sega Genesis Mini. So if you already have, whether it be the black version, the blue version, or even if you have one of the Sega Saturn versions, they're actually compatible with the Sega Genesis Mini. You can see there uh, they're compatible with the PC, Windows, Mac, Steam, the Super Retrocade, as well as the Sega Genesis Mini, um, which I think is awesome. I think it's really great. I know that the Sega Genesis Mini is not going to be, you know, the hardware won't be strong enough to run Sega Saturn games. Um, but if you prefer the Sega Saturn controller, which is, you know, a nice six button controller in itself, and it also has uh, L and R buttons. So that'll be compatible as well, which was a really nice announcement that they made. I don't know if anyone's touched on this on, on whether or not these controllers are compatible with the Sega Genesis mini, but Sega has a retro bit and Sega have both said that they are. So I just wanted to, give my thoughts on this and let you guys know what I think. So if you have any of these controllers, that's great. You do not have to go out and purchase one of these. But for anyone who does not have these yet, I mean, it's up to you. So you, you get multiple options, which is really nice. You can stick with the three buttons that are coming packaged with the console. You can go with Sega Saturn. You can go with the eight button Sega Genesis. They have the, the blue. Uh, they have the black. And then they're also doing the six button standard with a USB plug on the end. So that's also nice. Um, for me, you know, people have said stuff about the blue ones looking kind of cheap. And some people think they're cool. So, I mean, it's all 
personal preference. For me, I'm going to stick with the black because that's how it was. And I don't see myself ever getting these 8-button arcade pads with USB based on the fact that the 6 buttons coming out and that's all I need for my Sega Genesis Mini. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, post down in the comments what games you think are missing for the final 10 that uh, have yet to be announced, as well as what are your controller options and what are, what are you hoping to be able to use with this console. Um, let's hope they didn't close it out like the Sony did with the PlayStation Mini, but Sega seems to be doing a great job here, so um, I'm hoping to get my arcade tank stick working and all that stuff, so um, let me know what you think in the comments. Most importantly, everybody, have a good day.